the bodies of two mountaineers missing for days, Sara Stefanelli and Andrea Gallimberti, have been found on Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in Europe. Two Korean mountaineers are still missing. They also disappeared near the summit. The Italian couple had set off at dawn on Saturday, 7th September 2024 towards the summit, but at 4,300 meters, they were hit by bad weather. The only hope of finding Sarah and Andrea alive, missing since Saturday around the summit of Mont Blanc, was if they had managed to climb over the summit and descend along the boss's ridge to the Capana Vallo, a bivouac at 4,360 meters above sea level that, over the years, has saved dozens of lives. That's not how it went. On Tuesday, 10th September, in the early afternoon, a helicopter from Chamonix spotted the lifeless bodies of the Italian climbers on the Mour de la Côte, the last steep step for those who climb to the top of the Bianco from the Col de la Brenva. From that point, on a good day, a trained team takes half an hour to climb to the 4,810 meters of the summit, and an hour or so to descend along the boss's ridge to the Capana Vallo. The bad weather, however, left the two no escape. Come and get us. We can't see anything. We risk freezing to death, shouted Andrea and Sarah in a dramatic call to the rescue. Then the communication was interrupted. On Sunday and Monday, the Alpine rescue helicopters attempted to climb to altitude several times, but the wind and clouds made it impossible, and the bad weather also blocked the ground teams. Andrea Gallimberti, 53, living near Como, was an engineer and a highly experienced mountaineer. His friend Sara Stefanelli from Genoa, 41, had attended a mountaineering course only last spring, but had immediately shown ability and enthusiasm. A week ago, as they reported on social media, the two climbed the Matterhorn Pyramid together. The photos that the two published on Facebook show them smiling and happy. Then the decision to cross Mont Blanc from the Cosmiques, a long itinerary at high altitude, but easier from a technical point of view than the Matterhorn. Mont Blanc, being the highest mountain in Europe and rich in history, is perhaps the one that attracts the most mountaineers from all over the world, but it is also the one that claims the most victims, precisely because of the large number of mountaineers or aspirants it receives. It should not be underestimated. It is almost as big as Everest. There are enormous crevasses and avalanches, and even in summer, temperatures can suddenly drop below freezing. After the news of the two's disappearance, dozens of friends, climbers, and otherwise left messages of good wishes and hope on Facebook. Elsewhere, harsher messages appeared, accusing the two climbers of imprudence. What happened between Saturday and Tuesday on Mont Blanc will have to be reconstructed. It is important to remember, however, that the change in weather was particularly sudden and violent. The Italian and French weather forecasts for Saturday, 7th September, predicted good weather, while a clear worsening was predicted for the afternoon. Instead, the storm arrived earlier and with much more violence than expected. In the plains, it is still very hot, over 30 degrees. The disturbances in this season can be particularly violent. It is possible that, as happens in our cities and on the coasts, climate change will also bring with it more violent bad weather at high altitudes, just like the autumn monsoons in Nepal.